Seven days of yes for the week of February 17th. How is everyone doing? Dun, 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 dun. How we doing? You feeling that Olympic spirit, huh? Are you feeling it? Are you loving it? Hopefully I just embarrassed my daughter by that horrible humming rendition. Yes, it's the Olympic spirit. Hopefully you guys are having a great time. I know I'm enjoying waking up in the morning and getting to watch some Olympics and then having it be on at the end of the day as well. Super inspiring. So many great stories. Uh, I love watching um, the crazy sports that I would never watch other than the Olympics, the biathletes, um, cross country and shooting, right? Uh, the figure skating, good stuff. The luge, skeleton bobsled, love it. Uh, all good stuff. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Olympics as well. What I am not enjoying are some of the commercials. And so that's why the commercial right below me is the new Cadillac commercial. Now, I grew up in Flint, Michigan, and my parents drove Cadillacs, and um, so, you know, I've been a General, General Motors supporter over the years, not digging the newest Cadillac commercial with the one, well, it's the one below. Just the whole message, again, the beginning of the commercial, I'm like, yeah, that sounds good, uh, going to the cafe and relaxing, and oh, a month off in the summer, fantastic, sign me up. I didn't know that meant that I was a, uh, a non-assertive uh, idiot, which apparently the commercial is supposed to make me feel. Um, I, I feel that it, uh, it brings up everything that's negative, sort of about uh, what our culture is perpetuating, the materialism, the never having enough. And so that commercial this week, boom, just really sort of hit me uh, in a bad place. So go ahead and check out the commercial for yourself. So I am taking full responsibility of the fact that um, the reason that it, it bothers me so much is that it obviously resonates with something inside of me that, uh, that I can relate to. And so, uh, so this week, the, my activity is to really pay attention to what aspects of me really sort of still get caught up in a materialistic uh, mindset, what part of me kind of has that, uh, uh, you know, I want more or I need more in order to be satisfied and happy. So that's how I'm using that this week is to pay attention to my own, uh, to my own thoughts, my own desires that relate with that. Because that's, that's what I'm annoyed with uh, in myself. Um, I mean, I am annoyed with the fact that we're putting that message out there which, which, which seems to perpetuate uh, an unhealthy, unsustainable lifestyle. But I'm going to do my own work and, and, and see what I can do about it for myself this week and uh, what aspects of my life I still catch myself falling into that trap. So that's my assignment for me this week. I've also included, to kind of combat that, A, I think he's awesome. His name's David Cornthwaite. Uh, he is the Yes Is More uh, adventure uh, athlete. Um, and he's got a wonderful, wonderful video that, I, that I've posted below that to me is all about authenticity and, and living life. Uh, the right way with the right spirit. So go ahead and check out that video below. And uh, yeah, feel free to post your inspiration, uh, any comments, uh, anything that you want to share, anything that's showing up for you. And uh, I I'm reading the book, um, How to uh, Train a Wild Elephant, which is all on mindfulness. I'll post uh, an image of that book and, and a link to it as well. And uh, it's basically 53 activities that you can spread out over the year. To, to bring more mindfulness to your day. So the first activity, activity one, is uh, to use your opposite hand. So I'll be using my opposite hand with eating and, and do it as much as I can this week to bring that sense of mindfulness. So that is the week for seven days of yes, February 17th. Would love to hear from you guys. Hope all is well. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.